as an enologist, one might be tempted to focus on chemistry or microbiology a lot, but chemistry, you know, we can do a lot of research in enology and we can be very specific and look at very narrow things and we can get a lot of data in terms of chemistry. But for a while there, I think the research stopped there. But no, you have to take it a step further to see, okay, but that does that actually make a difference in terms of the sensory profile of the wine, right? So the chemistry is not always enough. It can give us some insight into what's happening there, but it's not all the insight that we need. Again, from a practical perspective, and then putting the sensory scientist hat on, okay, you can ask several questions. Okay, did that make a difference, right? And then you can try to apply the sensory tests that will tell you if there's a difference or not. And if there is a difference, okay, what is the difference? Can we describe the difference? Can we characterize the difference? So then you take the next step and you set up the proper sensory experiments to do that. And then finally, okay, we know there's a difference. We know what the difference is, but how do consumers interpret that? How do they receive it? Does it matter to them? Are they willing? Are they happy about the difference? Are they unhappy about the difference? Are they willing to pay more? Do they even care? So the sensory scientist thinking helps me paint a more holistic picture of what happens in the research that I do 